So, uh, my name is Laura Fisher. I'm the Director of Business Attraction for the Greater Peoria Economic Development Council. Uh, what that means in a nutshell is that I am both preparing the community to be investment ready, business ready for companies that are looking to expand and find new U.S. locations, and or I am building relationships with uh, a global community of gatekeepers and connectors and uh, networks to help them understand the value proposition and the assets that Greater Peoria will offer businesses as they are looking to grow and expand uh, and go global. Uh, so a couple of our primary industries that kind of helps drive the business attraction process is our, our actually our biggest industry is healthcare. And um, with 16% of our workforce working in healthcare, and one of our largest employers in the community is OSF, and they serve a patient population across the state that's a million people strong and growing. So uh, what oh, the best way that you do business attraction is to support your existing industries by identifying opportunities for them and their like supply chain needs or referral you know network needs for our existing businesses to grow and uh, and then connect the dots so help connect the network and the the partners to the again the assets and the resources that are here so uh, Peoria Biomate is a part of that. Uh, Peoria Biomed got started when uh, a Peoria area alum who had gone on to get a PhD at MIT and launch his own company in Boston uh, was looking for places to manufacture his new therapies that he was developing and was asked the question, why couldn't we do it in Peoria? And so uh, as we started looking at the opportunities in Peoria, we began working together and organized a 501c3 that uh, to really cultivate that ecosystem in Peoria, fill in the gaps, connect people to each other, and uh, put Peoria on the biomedical manufacturing map, as it were. Uh, so that is one industry. Our second largest industry is manufacturing. And so we are, we have, you know, the global supply chain, the workforce, the, uh, the leadership and the knowledge base that built Caterpillar into a global giant. All of those people are still here and are poised to kind of build the next, uh, manufacturing giant. So, um, that is another opportunity uh, kind of it's what we're known for there's a lot of talent and skills here for that and uh so looking for ways to complement again and support our existing businesses and leverage the supply chain needs that they have to bring businesses to peoria uh and when i say peoria i mean the region the five county region that we serve yeah so if we're talking data and research uh typically businesses are looking for you know, a list of things when they're looking to expand. Uh, you know, it is a like business location decisions are business decisions and they're driven by business factors. And so typically what that looks like is it is going to be a, do you have the right property? Do you have the right building? Does that building have the right ceiling height? Does it have the electrical capacity to support my energy needs? And uh, do, does the community have the workforce that supports that? And there are, I, there's probably at a minimum about eight questions that like we need to be prepared to answer for any business search. But then there's also specific needs that they'll ask for uh, that we need to be prepared to answer in research and or on our website. So uh, a couple of the lists that we keep and maintain to support that process is we have a list of the uh, commercial properties in our area for business locations, uh, typically larger employers, so like 10,000 square feet and above or five acres and above. But we, and then we have a close working relationship with our commercial brokers to kind of help facilitate any of those other opportunities uh, that are out there. We also, uh, we maintain a data hub. So trying to publish and really tell the story using data of our different industries and the different, uh, the value proposition for industries in our area. And um, we also, uh, you know, have, we're looking into like, you know, just, uh, like small catalogs of like our top 10 or 50 employers in each industry to really both advertise who's here and help people from other areas know what's here. Um, and 
uh, there's all sorts of opportunities to kind of grow in data, as we all know, but that's kind of uh, all of that lives on the data hub and it's a work in progress and lots of opportunity there. But that's a, a big part of what I'm doing. You know, when we're talking to businesses, of course, it'll be like tailored really to kind of their specific industry and what they're looking for. But in terms of like broad strokes for business decisions, we have a, a very uh, a low cost of doing business. We have we are 19 percent cheap. We have 19 percent cheaper energy rates than the national standard. We have 45 percent lower gas rates than the national standard. We have an abundant uh, water supply in that we're on the Mohammed Aquifer. We have great transportation and logistics uh, assets, and we have six short line railroads and five class one railroads that cross the country. We have three interstates that go through our location and we have the river and we're the furthest point north on the river that is navigable year round. So we have, uh, so from a shipping and logistics and transportation standpoint, we have like multimodal opportunities and to get products to anywhere you want to go in the country and the world. We have a really robust airport that has 12 direct flight destinations and is growing all the time. Uh, we also have a long runway for being able to take and receive shipments and Air Force One and fun things like that. Uh, you can ask the airport about that sometime. And um, an interesting stat is we are kind of like, we're kind of like the furthest point west. Like, so we're, we're, within a one day drive to half of the US population. A lot of places can claim that, right? But why that's interesting is that if you want to reach the East or West Coast, we're like right on that line of like where that, where, where you would either, you would either go West or you would go East. But from us, you reach both in the same amount of time from a shipping and you know transportation logistics uh, standpoint. Uh, in terms of quality of life for employees, which matters to the people you're, you're trying to attract. We, uh, it's very affordable to live here. We're constantly featured on cheap old houses or some sort of like, you know, your dollar goes further in Peoria. Um, we have a range of living options. Like it, it's really the kind of place where you can have any lifestyle you want. Like if you want to be in the country, you can be in the country and still have like a really great global job and your commute will be 20 minutes and that's about it. Or you can live in the city in an urban warehouse district loft. You know, we have urban field and we have small towns. So like a little scalable small town with all the quaintness and quite, you know, the quaintness and charm of us a small community, like any of those things are possible here. And yet you have then again, like a very low commute time compared to most uh, urban communities. And you can have a, a like a world changing global impact job. So, um, you know, our history is like manufacturing and we have a, a, a great ecosystem around that, but the future is going to be connected and smart autonomous mobility and uh, the smart delivery of healthcare and cancer uh, treatment and uh, innovation in rural healthcare and biomedical manufacturing back to Peoria Biomate. So, uh, and then we are adjacent to a re the region where Rivian just located. So electric vehicles and and batteries and all the opportunities that it, that industry creates uh, and that a lot of our workers will uh, be a part of. So um, it is a dynamic, diverse, interesting community that packs above its weight, punches above its weight. This is actually a better way to say it. Uh, always has and always will. And, you know, uh, if, if with companies that have an I, like, uh, idea that they want to test the market and take it to global levels, like this is the place that has done it, and it repeatedly in the past and is going to do it for our future as well. Come visit. Uh, yeah, I think most anybody like come check it out. Uh, if it's just a weekend, uh, or if it's a week, or uh, if you want to camp out for a year, we've got temporary, you know, we've got all the temporary housing, the drop in workforce areas, we've got um, a host of people that are really excited to welcome you and introduce you to this community and all that it has to offer. I think the other thing I didn't mention too, in terms of quality of life, is that um, our arts community is so robust and uh it is a the community like the people here support the arts and there is a very active arts culture so it in addition to kind of having all of this industry and 
I mean, just opportunity, just quality of living. Like then you get to go to the symphony and it took, you know, you 20 minutes to drive there at most. You get to go to stand up. You get to go to performing arts. You know, you get to go to the ballet. Like we have all of it here. And, you know, and if you really need this big city fix, like it is a short two and a half hour drive to Chicago O'Hare and uh, or Chicago downtown. It gets a little more crowded because it's Chicago, but, you know, like all the opportunities there. So it just uh, it's a great place. Uh, it's a great place. And we'd love to host you and come visit sometime. Check us out.